Tay-Sachs disease, also known as TSD, is a rare genetic condition that is caused by the decay of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. It is estimated that approximately 1 in 300 people carry the gene responsible for TSD. But the number of individuals diagnosed with the condition is much lower. Additionally, males and females are equally affected. Individuals with Eastern European and Jewish ancestry are at greater risk of having Tay-Sachs disease. In this video, we will learn more about Tay-Sachs disease by discussing causes, signs and symptoms, the diagnosis process, and treatment and management practices. Tay-Sachs disease is caused by mutations in the HEX-A gene, responsible for producing an enzyme called hexosaminidase A. Without this enzyme, a fatty substance called ganglioside, or GM2, accumulates in nerve cells, leading to their decay. The disease is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, meaning both parents must carry a mutated gene to pass it on to their child. If both parents are carriers, there is a 25% risk of their child being affected by the condition. It's essential to understand that Tay-Sachs disease exists in three main forms. Infantile Tay-Sachs disease. This is the most common and severe form, with symptoms appearing around three to six months of age. Unfortunately, affected children typically only live into early childhood. Juvenile Tay-Sachs disease. A less common form, symptoms emerge in late childhood or adolescence. Individuals with juvenile Tay-Sachs may experience a slower progression of symptoms and may survive into their teenage years. Late onset Tay-Sachs disease. This is the rarest form, presenting symptoms in adulthood. Individuals with late onset Tay-Sachs may experience the slowest progression of symptoms, and this form does not always impact life expectancy. Understanding these variations is crucial as they impact the age of onset, severity of symptoms, and life expectancy. The manifestation of Tay-Sachs disease depends on the form. Infantile Tay-Sachs disease is the most common, so we'll highlight symptoms that often appear with that form. Generally though, each of the three forms have common symptoms. Muscle weakness, loss of motor skills and coordination, cherry red spots on the retina, seizures, hearing loss, vision loss, and regressive development, especially in motor and cognitive functions. It's crucial to note that the severity of symptoms can vary, but the disorder typically leads to significant neurological deterioration. Unlike some conditions, Tay-Sachs is not part of routine newborn screenings. Diagnosis involves a combination of blood tests, genetic testing, family history analysis, and often a clearer examination of symptoms. Prenatal testing, such as an amniocentesis, is also available for families with a known risk of carrying Tay-Sachs gene. Carriers of the condition can be identified through a blood test. Unfortunately, there is no cure for Tay-Sachs disease. Treatments focus on symptom management, supportive care, and improving the individual's quality of life. A multidisciplinary approach involving neurologists, physical therapists, and other specialists is crucial. Treatments may include medication and therapies. Genetic counseling is essential for families, providing guidance on family planning and coping strategies. Tay-Sachs disease presents immense challenges for affected individuals and their families. While there is no cure, advancements in supportive care and genetic research offer hope for improved management strategies. Our thoughts are with those facing Tay-Sachs and we encourage everyone to stay informed about genetic disorders and supportive organizations working toward breakthroughs in research. This video is brought to you by PathCT and funded by the New England Regional Genetics Network, NERGIN. In addition, we'd like to credit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, the Mayo Clinic, the NIH National Human Genome Research Institute, Medline Plus, the National Organization for Rare Disorders, the Cleveland Clinic, and the National Tay-Sachs and Allied Diseases Association for the information shared in this video. We'd also like to thank Stephen Cofrancesco for composing original music for PathCT. If you'd like to stay in the loop, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media where you'll get updates on future episodes and other programs. Thank you.